So how do you get detail on a galaxy such as Andromeda? I used to photograph the galaxy with a Rokinon 135mm f2 lens. Now of course this is really wide field so you're not going to get as much detail. So what I would recommend doing is using a telescope, or a telescope with a longer focal length. That way you can have a higher resolution with your camera. What I did is I used a William Optic Xenosaur 61 with a 360mm focal length, not too long to zoom it in. And I significantly cropped it, but what I did was use a high resolution camera of 6000 by 4000 pixels. The camera I used was the Canon EOS Rebel T7. Another very important thing is your aperture of your telescope, or the F ratio. Basically, the more F ratio you have, like the lower it is, the more detail you're going to capture in a quicker amount of time. This way you can stretch out the images to get those nice packed punch and brightness in the image that you wouldn't get with a smaller aperture or a higher aperture. That's like F6. Another thing I recommend is to take very short exposures and stack a ton of them. Especially if you're in a light polluted sky. This is because you would get amazing detail in a light polluted sky. And even in dark sight, this is still really good to do because you get rid of that some of that noise to get more detail coming out. Another thing I recommend doing is lowering the ISO to around 800 depending on your camera. This is just because it'll give you that nice no noise image. Well, not no noise, but it'll give you a much less noise in the image. And also, even though the sensitivity is lower, it'll give you much less noise. You'll get much less color noise. Another thing that I much recommend is especially if your camera's modded, I found out there's a lot of dust specs and like vignetting. I definitely recommend taking flats, bias, and darks, all three of them. And because of course flat frames won't work without bias. So you need to have flat frames, definitely have flat frames and bias frames. Now what if you're gonna photograph something like the Whirlpool Galaxy? Well this one's a really faint far away galaxy, so you're gonna have to use a big telescope. I use a Celestron Nexstar 127 SLT, but I would still recommend putting a focal reducer on it if you want to still shoot a wider field one but you definitely have to put a focal reducer on it if you want to get that better aperture. Oh, and if you're new here, I am an Astrophotography Tips and Tricks channel, so if you like my content, make sure to subscribe. If you want to see how the camera performs that I have, the link is right here.